Good morning. Good Tuesday morning. I am still in bed. Um, when I woke up this morning, when I awakened, my allergies were at an all-time high. Oh, it's really bad. I can feel it all through here and here. And uh, I just couldn't even get out of bed, seriously. And, um, oh God, look at me. My um, my truck is having the brakes fixed. It's in the shop. The brakes went out on it the other day. So yesterday, as a matter of fact, the brakes went out. So it's, it's in the shop. But the mechanic called me and told me it's ready to be picked up. But I can't go get it because my daughter is in school. So I have no transportation today, which is fine because my head really hurts. I've taken some medication for it, but I don't seem to be having any luck yet. My head is still hurting. So I plugged in my, um, my humidifier. And uh, I'm going to lay around for a little bit longer until my head clears. I, I knew that I would be paying for yesterday around all those different smells and all the animals and stuff. But I don't regret it. I enjoyed myself yesterday with the babies. So... I'm gonna go into the kitchen and grab something to eat. I'm congested. I can't breathe out of my nose. It's really bad, y'all. So I'm gonna go get something to eat. What are you guys doing today? Oh, wow. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. So I don't know what time it is. But I am hungry, 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 hungry. So give me a minute. I'm going to try to grab something to eat. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll go in the room and lay down and eat. I have so much different medicines for allergies, but none of them seems to be working. I'm going to take a Claritin, I think, if I have any left in here. Let me see. Because the other pills I've taken today has had no effect. I got some Claritin. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped my Claritin on the floor. 
all the different smells and stuff. Yesterday was like a bit of an overload for me. Mm. Okay. So my daughter is in school, in case you're wondering. I had her before she left. To, I was still asleep when she got up, but she, um, when I did wake up, I was like, oh, I forgot to wake you up. She's like, mom, I'm getting ready to go to school. I was like, oh, okay. And um, what was I talking about? The... Um, the cats, I told her to lock the cats up because I wasn't feeling good, feeling good and I didn't want to mess with them today while I'm sitting here trying to get better. So this is my little fruit bowl that I took out. It has raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. Let me see, raspberries. Blueberries, strawberries. It's another type of berry in there, but I don't know what kind it is. So, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that strawberry. Mmm. 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 Man. That is a treat. Um, now, I know you're going to find this hard to believe. I've never tasted a raspberry before. So I'm going to taste a raspberry for the first time. So let me see. I don't like it. Let me just spit it out. <laughs> Okay, raspberries aren't my thing. I don't like raspberries. I just figured that out. I've never bought raspberries before. So, I guess I sort of already knew without trying it that it wouldn't be my cup of tea. So, now I know for sure. But strawberries always brightens my day. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's good. Blueberries are a winner for me. I know I like blueberries because I buy them often. Mm. Mm. I forgot what these are called. These here. They're blue, but they're not called blueberries. They're called something else. I know I like them because I used to eat them as a kid. Mmm. Good, 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 good. Mmm. Look at all that glorious, y'all. Mmm. It is so good. Mmm. So, listen. Oh, wait a minute. Almost got a raspberry on there. Um, so, what I want to talk about was um, Krishan Rock, right? Whatever her real name is. I don't even know what her real name is. Okay. I have one bone to pick with her. Mm. That one didn't taste too hot. Um, 
the tooth out in the front. Um... It seems like the public thinks it's cute. <laughs> really? I I had heard no criticism of her walking around with the tooth out in the front front. She's making a living, making money with that tooth out in the front. So I wish I knew a couple of years ago that that was acceptable. Because remember I lost my front tooth? And I was complaining about it and I had to go and buy an implant and have it, yeah, put an implant in and pay thousands and thousands of dollars for the implant. So if I knew having a tooth out was stylish, I would have never got my implant. I would have just walked around looking like Chris Sean with the tooth out in the front. That is totally like unfair that I wouldn't pay to have an implant put in my mouth. And Krishan is walking around showing her get her tooth missing and she getting a lot of attention. If if I knew it was cool, I would have never got my implant put in. So I told my daughter that and she looked at me like this. <laughs> Seriously, I think I get on my daughter nerves sometimes with the shit that I say. The shit. I was I was like terrified to walk around with no with a tooth missing in front of my mouth. I actually I didn't walk around like that because I immediately went to a dentist and had a um flipper ordered a flipper. I had I had my mouth fitted for a flipper. A flipper is like a false tooth that you clamp to the other teeth and it, with one, I only had one tooth missing. So it's a flipper is something you just stick up in your mouth. A false teeth, you just stick up, you can plop it in, plop it out. That's what a flipper is. So I wore that for a long time until I could save up to, to actually get an implant. Mm. Cause I wasn't about to be walking around with a tooth missing. It's almost make you look, it almost make you look like a damn crackhead. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Next time I'll just grab all strawberries. <laughs> Cause the strawberries seem to be winning out over all the other fruit here. I just prefer strawberries only. Mm. As far as um um Christian, she's young. I think she'll get it together. I I do. I think she'll get it together. She's really young. And I don't think she's had anyone to teach her anything. You know, so she has to, like, learn everything on her own. She didn't have parents that was worth a damn. So I think she got to learn all this life and stuff on her own. She'll get it. She will get it. Um, thing with Blueface is he supposedly had a mom uh, to teach him stuff, according to her. But it seems like he didn't learn shit either. You know, so I don't know. I think they're both young and dumb. They're just both young and dumb, <laughs> pretty much. We've all been young and dumb, but theirs is like at an all-time high. We get to see their young dumbness. You know what I mean? Mm. He's not the most masculine male. He seems to have a lot of bitch ass qualities about him. He's almost like a female. He's very into his feelings all the time. He was talking about, oh, let me comb down my baby hairs. I've never heard a man say that. I was like, what the F? 
comb your baby hairs. I hear women say that, but I've never heard a man say that. That's just really, that's giving femininity to me, <laughs> really. If I was like, he's suspect to me, really. Mm. And then his mom is on t uh, on YouTube. Um, she's off her rocker. Krishan's mom looks like a crackhead, acts like a crackhead. And Krishan has crackhead ways, tendencies. So I just, Krishan's whole family is all effed up in the head. Wow. I saw a video where uh, Blueface punched her father in the face, knocked him out. And he got up with blood leaking. I was like, wow. You know? <laughs> All the dysfunction. Too much dysfunction for me. It's like. Wa like watching a train wreck. You know. And it's kind of funny because Chris Sean will upload a video. And she'll. First of all, the way she talks is like a, like a, it's muffled, you know. She sounds exactly like her mom to me, like her crackhead when she's speaking. But sometimes she uh, says things um, about herself as if since she's making money that she's a, a little bit above people, others, because she's making money, you know. And I just thought to myself, uh, you're making money, but at what, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of the word. At what expense? Like, you're showing the world that you're an idiot. You're crazy. You know, you have no level of intelligence. Um, you're being dogged out by some little skinny boy. Um, what the hell? I mean, I don't know. I just wouldn't want to be looked at that way. I don't want to make m money being a clown, pretty much. That's, that's just not me. I'm not, I don't want to make money that way. Oh, I'm getting full, y'all. I'm getting full. Mm. Mm. How is your whole family effed up? How is that even possible? But it is. It is. This is good. Mm. 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 I put a dent in it. And I'm full, so I don't know what time it is. I'm thinking it's around 11-ish lunchtime. Just trying to close this up. Ooh. Although I'm on a liquid diet, it's certain nutrients that I need that I can't get from liquid dieting. So I have to eat a lot of fruit, eat, um, take a lot of vitamins and uh, stuff like that to make sure I'm healthy. And you guys know I am anemic, so I have to really like stay on top of my iron pills. This thing is not going in. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I gotta stay on top of things my health but yeah um she needs guidance and uh i think krishan needs like guidance that's all but she don't have anyone in her family who can give her that because they're all nuts you know and uh blue face needs guidance he has no one in his family that can give him that because they're all nuts 
So it's like, what the heck? They ha- they're like out here trying to learn things on their own. And then they're taking advice from the wrong people. You know, they're just all like, you know, living life with blinders on. They don't, they're trying to learn things on their own. It's just ridiculous. You know, it's like watching a train wreck. And uh, people like to watch train wrecks for some odd reason. People like to watch train wrecks. So they are like getting a lot of attention. They're getting paid to be train wrecks. You know what I'm saying? Pe- people like, it's. I'm amazed at what people will pay you for. Really. Actually, what is Krishan's talent other than being a nut? That's what I'd like to know. What is it? Uh, I heard someone say that she's a rapper or a singer. I've never heard a song yet. I've never heard her sing or rap. So, I mean, if any of y'all have ever heard Krishan Rock sing or rap, let me know in the comments. Let me know if she's good at it or not, because I've never heard her sing or rap. I've heard Blueface uh, try to rap. Oh, my God. <laughs> Do people pay him for that? Really? What? What is his talent other than uh, going back and forth with uh, Krishan and their crazy relationship? You know, I think he's a good actor, uh, and I think she's a good actor. They they both got all all of y'all attention, right? They're they're pretending like they're not together. Then they're pretending like they're breaking up. Then they're pretending that they are together. Back, it's just too much. But they're getting paid for all that. So they're both very good actors and actresses. They're they're good at that. So other than that, I don't know what their talents are. Other than appearing to be train wrecks. I don't know if any one of them had good sense. I can't say that they do. It's a lot of people making money who don't have good sense. You know, um, it's just ridiculous. And, and, and those other folks like to see these type of black folks. They pay them billions of money to be idiots, you know? So it's just ridiculous. I, I don't think I would do anything like that. I wouldn't want to embarrass myself like that. I for no for no amount of money. No amount of money. I'm sitting here thinking I'm missing a whole day's work, which is not good. If I was going to miss a day of work, I'd rather be somewhere around animals, you know. But my head is hurting so bad. I'm going to have to crank up the humidifier. I need love. (laughs) I do. I'm like, I'm out here with these animals. I'm enjoying the smells and and nature and stuff. And then I come home and be sick the very next day. What the heck? Really? Uh, It's too much. Cute overload. With the baby goats. It was such a cute overload. Really. And it's weird because, you know, I developed a liking towards the uh, goat that I call Brownie. That one was like my favorite. And I was like, I got to go back out there to see Brownie, you know, stop by. I really, really gravitated towards that one goat. I was like, oh. I named, and I named it Brownie, and I was like, I gotta go back, you know, even though my head is hurting, my sinuses are messed up, my allergies are acting up, I was like, I gotta go see Brownie today. 
I don't want Brownie to forget me. <sighs> Shoot. But I'm not going to make it today. Yeah. Oh, well. I had a good time. So you guys are probably at work, you know? I didn't even open the curtains. I got the curtains and everything closed. Oh, I just received a message. Okay, guys, I'm going to um, turn off the lights in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go right back to sleep. Try to sleep this off. I took my Claritin. I'm hoping that does some type of... Hope it helps a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for uh, viewing this channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. Peace. Bye-bye.